guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is day four of Vlogmas, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this no sew sock snowman. And I am so sorry that this is completely out of focus. My bad, I'm still trying to learn how to do all this stuff. So this is a no waste, no sew sock snowman. So what you're gonna need are some spoons, some scissors, some thread or twine, a hair tie, little accessories, and these push pins that I tried to show you but unsuccessfully was not able to because it was blurry, but basically you need the push pins that have the little like colored round ends because this is going to be used for the face. I did not do a good job showing you guys that, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to need some of those. Uh, you're going to need um, some old socks, I'm going to be using this because this was the one that I had made last year and it broke, so I wanted to go ahead and fix it. And a bowl of rice. Now you need to make sure that it is uncooked dry rice. So you wanna get started by getting your sock and laying it flat. I'm just trying to show you that I'm using an ankle sock and the ankle socks are really good, but you can pretty much use anything as long as it's just like a regular sock, but not like a super long one. And you want to cut the toe part off right where I showed you. So now I'm just showing you on this piece that I had already cut. So that way you can see. Now you want to take the hat part and cut just a little bit extra off and you're going to end up with this and then you're just gonna snip it so that way it turns into a string. Now we're gonna use this later, so don't throw it away, don't throw away any of this stuff, we're just gonna use all of the parts. So now you want to take your thread and you want it to make sure that it's a thicker thread because if you don't, you're gonna end up with rice everywhere because it will snap and it's just terrible. I'm folding mine inside out because I have gemstones on the other side and there's rice sticking on the inside of it, so I'm just gonna flip it. You don't have to, but I did. You just wanna use the prettier side. And then you wanna take your thread and tie it around so that way you will end up with basically a sack looking thing. But you wanna make sure that the knight is a solid, tight knot, because if you don't, rice will sort of slip out. So you just wanna make sure to get it as tight as you possibly can. Now once you have the knot set in place in the way that you want it, then you just want to take it and turn it inside out. So that way you will have the dimple at the bottom and it's going to look like a sack. After that, you just want to start putting the rice in. I'm using a spoon for mine, but you can use a funnel, honestly. It was a little easier using a funnel. But I have these really pretty spoons and I want to use them, so I did. <laughs> so you just want to fill it up until you get to a decent size consistency, just occasionally bopping it to the bottom to sort of stretch out, like I'm showing you right here. And I'm using a smaller spoon because it started getting messy and using the smaller spoon with the smaller opening just made it easier. And then at the end I just dumped the rest of the rice in. This will hold quite a bit of rice. So once you have that, you wanna get your thread again and you wanna cut off another small piece to tie off the top. Now what I did to make this easier on myself was to twist the top just so that way it would be easier to um, close it off and then you want to make sure you tie this tightly again. Just like we did the bottom, nothing special. And this is going to be the top of your snowman. Now you have this little beanbag thing and we're actually almost done. So the bottom should look like this and the whole thing should look like this. Now you want to just shape the snowman into the desired size that you want. You can make the head bigger, you can make the head smaller and when you find the size that you want, you want your hair tie and just pop it on top, just like that. and then my cat wanted to know what I was doing. She wasn't interested. But look, now you have a little snowman and it's so cute. Now you get to decorate with like gemstones or beads or pretty much whatever you want. Now you might be wondering about this pink splotch. It's because I have this 
toe part that I was trying to dye so it's a different color with some acrylic paint and water and it didn't work uh, and I didn't wait for it to dry so when I put it on it bled onto the sock but that's okay. So this little string piece we're going to use to hide the hair tie. Now you might want to cut it just a little bit thicker than what I did um, just because they did burrow. Um, but look at that. It's so cute. It's a cute little snowman. And of course now's the point where you want to get your push pins or your beads or whatever. The push pins you just push it in and there's your eyes. The snowman has some lovely little green eyes. And then I have the purple push pin for the nose. Now you could do a mouth if you want. I just didn't because I thought this was just so cute. And that's pretty much how you do it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on. I'm uploading daily videos until Christmas. So be sure to check back tomorrow to see what I have for you guys. Okay, bye.